Okay, here we go with the uh, what was a, a three car garage size, two two cars, and then uh, the end here, which is uh, actually put aside as a storeroom. But you can see there's got to be a large balcony running along. It's 12 meters by seven. This building, and uh, well, you can see it's approximately 12 meters high. So uh, we've got two and a half floors. So if we go in for the garage, we've got up and over doors which will have electric system fitted with with uh, keyless locks and stuff. So we've got my model model van, which I transport all my models with, and you can see the space for the cars is nice and big. I made sure I measured measured up to uh, be able to open the doors of uh, the cars and everything when they're in instead of banging so we've got a door through to the storeroom right let's come in through the through the entrance okay so we go we come into what was uh, the third car part which we actually decided would be like a toilet and um, storage area for general stuff so we come in and uh, so here we go up the stairs. The toilet will be underneath the stairs, of course, in in this corner here. That's where the toilet's going to be. So let's uh, go up the stairs. These stairs are, were originally in my house before we did the strip down and uh, rebuild. But uh, anyway, so first of all, we've got this area here at the top of the stairs which is going to be a club lounge area now that's seven meters seven meters by about four so uh, it's a nice large area and uh, you can see we've left the half third floor we haven't uh, sealed up all the rafters we've only sealed up halfway so that We've got enough height up in the third floor to actually get up in there otherwise it gets, gets a little bit tight here because it's only about 30 or 40 centimeters there so and this is going to be the workshop area which is approximately eight meters by seven and this will have a complete model model building and processing uh, set up CNC, laser, 3D, I'm going to have uh, full full whack in here. So, so the total floor area here is 12 metres by 7 with that 4 metre lounge at the end. So it gives me 8 metres by 7 for the, uh, for the workshop. It's just a matter of, and if we look again, you can see that we have this um, open part here and then the half closed in floor of the third floor so that allows me to put a ladder or something to put the uh, put the models and everything up there so you know you imagine that's 12 meters by approximately four four meters storage area to put all the models and everything up there out of the way so and We've got the um, the balcony, which uh, the the legs here will, or the uh, beams here will be extended out to the same as those. So that gives me approximately a two and a half meter. I think that's about two and a half meter, three meter uh, balcony for twelve meters. So that's a twelve by about a twelve by three balcony. So I can sit out here with my pina colada and look out at everything. It's nice. So who, who would want that for their models? I can't understand anybody wanting something like this. Can you? Yeah, a bit extravagant, isn't it? So you know, it took a lot of money. It's uh, hasn't been cheap because it's all good, good stuff. Still got the electrics 
and the benching and everything to put in so uh, we'll have and there'll be um, a wood burning fire and uh, that will provide plenty of heat plus a uh, little bit of electric heating and stuff for the winter and everything so uh, yeah it's uh, she's going to be something else and like I say it's, it's, this is a lounge area because um, we will have the RC vents bills and various club interests here to um, to have a beer and so on you know and few few model movies and stuff because if you see that wall there that part wall that divides the workshop we can always put a white screen on there for, for uh, videos to be uh, projected to and so on yeah so uh, yeah cost me a bit took a while to put together the um, architect who drew up the plan the project and then it was surprised when I said about the size and what I wanted to do everybody uh, who sees it thinks I've built a second house but when I tell them no no, no it's just purely for cars and models they don't believe it so uh, anyway that's that is where everything in the house is going to come from and then the second floor of my house will be free for us to finish because we haven't finished all the repairs in the house that's why basically the second floor has become a model area because uh, it's not actually finished up there so uh, we wouldn't be living in it anyway so it's it's the models are there they'll move out we'll finish the second floor then we'll do, finish the first floor which still has to be uh, stripped and redone because the house is a hundred year old timber forest house in Latvia and it, it really it needed knocking down and rebuilding but we decided to renovate it rather than rebuilding but um, yeah so uh, everything comes in here and that'll be it so that's good thank you